So how to create a master tag database. I already created three databases. Two are the example databases, one in which I have books and the other in which I have tasks. There are no other properties because I don't know what else you would have in your databases, but this doesn't really matter. It's just about the relation to the master tag database. I also created the master tag databases and added two tags in there. In a master tag database, you don't really need any other properties. There will only be the relations. Of course, if you want to add other properties, you can. But if you just want to use it as a master tag database, it's not really needed. So what you're going to do now is you're going to connect your master tag database to your other databases. So we have database one, create the relation. And now we choose database one. And as you can see, here is the relation and here the relation is here as well. Now we can just call it tags maybe. And then we are going to do the exact same thing for the other database. Now, if you want to connect something to a tag or if you want to, to add a tag to something, for example, to this book, let's say it's about marketing, you can just add it. Book two, maybe about marketing and maybe another topic. Maybe it's also about finance and we don't already have finance in our tag database. So we can just create the new page right here from the other database. And maybe the last one is about productivity. So you can see we already have that tag. Now we can take the other ones as well with other things or with the same things. And then you can see here, you have the tags here and you can also filter for those tags as you can be with the select property. So you can just filter for tags contains marketing, for example. And now you only see the books that are related to marketing. And in here you can see all the entries in other databases that are related to marketing. So if you ever want to know something about a certain topic, you instead of going to all the databases and filtering them for the topic, just to see all the entries, like all the books and all the tasks, for example, you can just go into the master tag database and look at the tag. But of course, as I said, you can also filter those databases. And another thing you can do is relate this database to itself. For example, if, you, if we say it doesn't really fit with those topics, but if you say marketing is a topic, a tag you want in itself, but it actually belongs to productivity as well. So, or maybe let's create another tag so it's easier. Um, let's call this time blocking because time blocking maybe is a part of productivity. So we also want to see which um, tasks and books are related to time blocking. So maybe we can add one just so there is something in there. But we also want to know if we look at productivity, that there is another topic in this database that is related to productivity, in this case, time blocking. So we create this relation and let's call this tags, create a relation. And now we choose the master tag database which is this database. Now we have two options. Either we create a new property, so it syncs both ways, or we use the same property. In this case, I would prefer using the um, new property creation. So if you look at time blocking, you see that it is related to productivity. And if you look at productivity, you see that it's related to time blocking. Create relation, and there it is. Now we can relate this to productivity. And here, as you can see, time blocking shows up.